you know, there there may come a time where we say, you know, we can't take anymore. Uh, we, we're going to need some outside help. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. Right now, hospitals all across our area are running down options to increase capacity. I want to give you a live look from Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4 overhead Barnes Jewish Hospital, where they are putting a hold on elective procedures. And new at 5 o'clock, the pandemic task force tells us restricting visitors and putting tents up outside ERs to separate COVID patients are both possibilities once again. We are seeing record breaking, a record breaking week for COVID-19 hospitalizations. New hospital admissions jumped from 114 to 120. That's a single day record. The seven day average of admissions hit 99 today. That has never been that high before. Also a record, the average number of COVID related hospitalizations increased to 546. Our Russell Kinsall is learning how the situation is already impacting patients at Mercy Hospital in Washington. Right now, Mercy Hospital Washington has a patient that needs to be transferred to St. Louis for specialty care at a hospital there, but they're having to wait for space to open up to transfer that patient. The hospital here has gone to great lengths to try to increase its capacity to handle more COVID patients, but at the rate of hospital admissions, across the area. At some point in the near future, we could be seeing tent hospitals in the St. Louis region. It's scary. I'm glad my family's healthy. Words getting around that Mercy Washington Hospital and other hospitals are filling up. First thought is why the hell people don't go wear a mask. They could prevent a lot of that if they just wore a mask. Chief of Staff Dr. Tom Rikers is promoting prevention while dealing with reality. What's your level of concern about running out of capacity at your hospital? I think it's a very high concern, actually. As a smaller hospital, Mercy Washington can get overwhelmed by a surge quickly. Currently, it has 25 COVID patients, eight in ICU. The hospital has taken steps to increase the number of intensive care unit beds from 13 to 19 and turned other sections of the hospital into non-ICU COVID wards. But it hasn't canceled elective surgeries yet. These issues are real and are affecting our patients, uh, and we're managing them as the best we can. And I think. Our team is really doing a remarkable job. Looking at the entire region, the head of the pandemic task force told me tent hospitals could be popping up in the St. Louis area at some point. If we continue on the pace that we're on right now, where we're seeing 100 admissions a day, it's not going to be too far in the distant future when we are going to have to rely on some sort of alternative care site to take care of some patients. You could add more beds, but you've got to have the staff to man those beds. So what they're doing here is they're bringing back nurses that have some ICU experience at some point in their careers, teaming them up with current ICU nurses to handle the COVID patients. But medical professionals will tell you the way to keep the numbers down in the hospitals is for people to wear masks and use social distancing to reduce the number of people testing positive for COVID-19. In Washington, Russell Kinsall, News 4.